Jerry of the Circus. For Jerry of the Circus. Hey, Jason, I bet those two will be good friends. Yeah, but not for long, I'm afraid. Why not? Well, there's always the danger that if the cub gets bigger, he might hurt Rags sometime while they're playing. If no one was around and there was blood or something, the cub might revert to his jungle ancestors. What do you mean, revert? Well, he might forget he's supposed to be a well-behaved wild animal, and suddenly smelling blood, he might think of the kill. Oh, I see, of course. I, I suppose he might. You still think you'd like to train him to be pals? Oh, I should say not. What do you think I am? Guess maybe I'd better take Rags now and... <laughs> I didn't mean to scare you, Jerry. Not much you didn't. No, it's safe enough for them to play now if we kind of keep our eyes on them. But it is true, you have to be pretty careful while the crub grows up. Golly, I, I should say so. I suppose they're too little to know why they do certain things. Well, that's it. And too young to be well enough trained so you can trust them. I is Fuzzy too small to start training yet? No, sir. He's just about the right age. Gee, I I'd like to try. What can we teach him? I was planning on feeding him now, so this is just about the best time to start learning something. Uh, I know, because uh, you reward him when he does the right thing. He hit the nail right in the head, Jerry. Look, here's the little board. Hey, let's make him jump over it. Okay, take these pieces of meat and start calling him. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty. <laughs> All right, be still. I don't mean the kind of a cat you th think. <laughs> now, come here and light on. I'm trying to train this cub. Guess I'll call him Fuzzy. He may as well learn his name now. <laughs> Say, you're going to have your hands full. Here, I'll hold Rags. See, they both smell meat. Oh, no, I, I manage. Rags will behave. Down, Rags, and not a word out of you. Understand? <laughs> he may behave, but he sure sashes you back. Come on now, Fuzzy. Here, Fuzzy. Gee, he's cute. Well, he's got a good nose, all right. But he climbed over the board instead of just. <laughs> That's all right. Give him this piece of meat. At least he'll know what's coming to him on the other side of that board. Uh, I'll put Fuzzy back on the other side of the board again. Now, Mr. Cubline, let's see you do your stuff. Okay, Fuzzy, come on. Well, that's better. Catching on, aren't you? Though you're kind of hungry, huh? Yeah, he acts as if he hasn't eaten for days. Cub lions eat just like little pigs. And in a couple of months, when they've got bigger stomachs and bigger appetites, you should see them. He hasn't jumped yet, but he certainly has learned to get over that board quick enough. He will. Just give him time. Here, we'll give him this another try. There you go, Fuzzy. Back on the other side. Here, Fuzzy, Fuzzy, Fuzzy. Why, he did it, he well, did it. <laughs> yeah, sure he did, but he lost his balance. His first jump, pretty good, Fuzzy. You sure deserve your meat this time. Hey, careful of my finger. Gee, his teeth are sharp. And so are his claws. Cubs can do plenty of damage if they're not watched. Say, wait a minute. Golly, he's quick. Yeah, he's not going to take any chances with the rest of that meat. Thinks he'd better get it now while the getting's good. Back you go. We'll try it once more, Fuzzy. Okay, I'm ready. Come on, Fuzzy. Oh, whoopee. Hey, that's what I call a real job. Watch out, Jerry. He's going to get the rest of that meat. Fuzzy, get away from there. Greg, stop it. Leave that cub alone. Hey, Jason, quit. Look at those little mutts. Here, get away. My golly, that cub is a scrapper for being such a little shaver. Fuzzy, you're trying to protect his meat. Trying to sprawl all over it, the little pig. <laughs> Poor Rags. Fuzzy can sure put on a vicious-looking act. 
Hey, Rag. Rag, look out. Stop it, Rag. Rag, Rag, stop it. Ah, oh, gee, you hurt Rag. You little vixen, you. Rag, oh, look, Jason, in his leg. Good night. That's a mean one. Right in the joint, too. Rag, oh, you poor thing. Here, wait a minute. I'll stick Fuzzy back in the cage and help you pick Rags up. This cub is smart enough, but he's too much of a scrapper. Now, as I can see, he'll take plenty of training. Golly, do you think Rags will be all right? I never heard him whine so much. Do you think it's serious? Well, I'll see you in a minute. Here you are, Cap. Now you stay in there. Come on, Jerry. We'll go over to my wagon. I've got a lot of first aid things over there. All right. Oh, there's Patsy. Hello there, Patsy. Where are you going? Oh, no place special. Just looking for some excitement, I guess. Excitement? Say, you just missed plenty of it. What happened? Say, what's wrong with Rags? Oh, he got scratched by the new cub Jason was just showing me. Oh, I'll say he did. Oh, oh Jason, look. This looks kind of bad. Isn't that tendon torn or something? Look how he's holding that leg, as if he hasn't any control over it. Yeah, I know. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to fix it him up. Oh, uh, gee, it isn't serious, is it? Golly, I don't know what I'd do if anything happened to Rag. I certainly hope not. Come on in here. There you are, Rag. I can, can't tell very well what's what yet. We'll have to put a little iodine in here to be sure it's not infected. You've got to be pretty careful with claws. They can be nasty sometimes. Yes, I know, I know. That's not very nice to take. Poor fellow. There you are, Rags. You're going to be all nice and well. Oh, you certainly do a marvelous piece of work, Jason. Why'd you learn to be such a good veterinarian? You're in a hospital. What do you mean? Oh, well, I was laid up once. And... Oh, you mean that time you had that bad accident in the cage? Yeah, that's it. Uh -huh. Well, all the time I was in the hospital, I learned everything I could about how to protect myself in case of an accident. <laughs> I even used to read books on anatomy. But how do you know about animals? Well, when I learned all I could about people, I got some books from the library on animals, so I'd be an amateur veterinarian, too. I always knew you were smart, Jason, but didn't realize how versatile you are. What's versatile? Well, that's being good at lots of things. Say, Jason, what are you doing with those sticks? I'm going to put Rag's foot in a splint. Oh. Say, is it as bad as that? That doesn't mean it's serious, Jerry. It'll just protect Rag from getting hurt anymore, and it'll make him keep his legs still. Well, that one, anyway. But how'll he do his act? He won't do his act. Oh, say, what'll Bumps do? Well, I don't know. As soon as we get this fixed, you'd better take Rags over and see what Bumps says. You certainly go about that bandaging business professionally, Jason. Good night, Patsy. I, I almost forgot. What? Well, that letter came today. What letter? The one from the bank. Oh. Hey, sure it is. You want to read it? Oh, well, you haven't opened it yet. No, I thought I'd wait for you. Go on and read it. Okay, if you say so. Oh, this is short and sweet. I don't know whether it's going to help us much or not, though. Uh, what'd they have to say? Let's see. Well, this is from Mr. Ross. Yeah, I know. The man at the bank. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. He says he checked with the clearinghouse that he told us about. That was sure nice of him. He says that particular lock is made by the Brunner Lock Company in Crystal Falls. Jiminy Whiskers, that's something. And he advises us to write them for further information. I'll do that today. Gee, will you, Patsy? Mm -hmm. You're swell. Golly, I'd sure like to find out where that box is, Dad had. Well, if there's any way of tracing it, we'll find it. Don't you worry, Jerry. Well, Rex, if you ask me, that's a pretty neat job. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. You've got a polite dog there, Jerry. Did you hear him thank me? I sure did. He knows you're trying to help him. Aw, oh, look, he's licking your hand. That dog doesn't have to talk. He has so many little ways of letting you know what he wants. Yeah, and, and sometimes it's a big help for him not to be able to talk, because he pretends he doesn't know what I'm telling him. <laughs> so he takes advantage of you, hmm? Yeah, but I'm usually on to him. And then he looks so foolish when he sees I won't let him get away with something. <laughs> yeah, it's getting late, Jerry. I think you'd better run along and see Bumps and tell him about rags. If Bumps decides not to use him, he'll have to know ahead of time in order to plan his act. Oh, of course. And thanks, Jason, for fixing rags up so swell. And... Goodbye, Patsy. Don't forget about that letter. I won't. See you later, Jerry. So long, Jerry. but you better rest this time. Come on, Bumps, it's late. Hey, how's Ray? <laughs> Fit as a fiddle, but raising a rumpus every time I start to leave him here alone. Oh, can you blame him? Here we've been telling him the show has to go on regardless. Now that he's got his paw and his splint, we make him go to bed. Oh, it just doesn't make sense, does it, Rags, old boy? <laughs> well, I better get along. Rags, stop it. Quiet now. Hey, hey, Bumps. You think you'd hurt if, if Rags just ran around with you? Well, no, just on the walk around. Rags, you win. Come on, Bumps will take you along. 
I think it'll get him too excited not to let him work, Bump. If you don't mind just letting him tag along on the walk around. <laughs> well, there's one thing that dog sure knows what he wants. All right, Rags, we'll do ourselves, even if we are handicapped. Gee, you're swell, Bump. Hi, Patsy. Hi, folks. Hey, young fella, why aren't you in bed? You mean Rags? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's the trooper in him. He insists on going on. <laughs> well, I don't blame him. But do you think it's safe, Bump? Oh, sure, we'll take it easy. <laughs> you better watch us, though. We'll have to change our act. And no somersaults this time. <laughs> oh, oh, here's a cue. Well, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that just like Bump? He'll have to change his whole routine. He's as proud of that pup as you are, Jerry. Golly, Rags is proud of himself. <laughs> like a kid that's finally got its own way. Well, he can do the boot trick anyhow. Sits on that big shoe of Bumps as proud as if he was driving along in the front seat of a car. Hey, gee, Bumps shouldn't. Oh, golly, I, I thought he was going to kick him up in the air and let him do some of those somersaults. <laughs> oh, don't you worry about Bumps. Hmm, kind of tricky the way he caught Rags on his shoulder. But you notice he helped Rags land right and so not have to hurt his legs. He just drinks rags on the whole circus. He sits up there so proud. <laughs> Too bad he can't crow. <laughs> yeah. Say, look at him sniffing Bumps' ear. <laughs> oh, I bet that tickles. <laughs> Bumps is pretending he doesn't know where Rags is. Well, Rags isn't letting him get away with it. Look at him tap Bumps with his good paw. <laughs> look at Bumps hunting over the wrong shoulder, trying to find out what's back of him. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's happened? Oh, gee, Rags bumped his bad leg onto the stage. Oh, why is he lying so still? Do you think he's badly hurt, Jerry? Oh, yeah. I hope not. He, he just let out one yelp. I think he's playing possum, though. You know, dead dog. See? Bumps is picking him up. Heavens, he surely looks limp. Look at the way Bumps is shaking his head. Oh, I think Bumps is just putting that on for the audience, Jerry. Isn't he marvelous? You think he lost his last friend? He looks so sad. Oh, so it was just a game after all. Oh, it had me scared for a minute. Me too. Look at him run. Here, Rags, here, Rags. <laughs> Poor Bum's puffing behind him. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well, I'm all out of breath. Hey, listen, Jerry, get Rags over to the wagon, will you? I want to have a look at that leg. I'm afraid he really hurt himself when he ran into that stake. Oh, gee, Bump. Golly, I, I'd never forgive myself if I made him go on and, and he really got hurt. Well, now, don't you worry, Jerry, but I'll tell you one thing. He doesn't work again until that leg is well. Uh -huh. 